This episode of D News is brought to you by the Buy Power Card from Capital One. Every purchase brings you closer to a new Chevrolet, Buick, GMC, or Cadillac vehicle. I love chewing ice. What does that say about me? Am I gonna be okay? Hey guys, it's Trace for D News. Ice chewing is a thing, with records of it dating to the 1600s. People do it for different reasons, like if your refill doesn't show up, or you just like the crunch of ice in your mouth. But one thing is for sure, it has nothing to do with being sexually frustrated. I looked that up a lot, nothing. Abnormal ice cravings are part of something doctors call pica, or the craving to chew something with no nutritional value whatsoever. If it's specifically ice, that's called pegophagia, and the main thing ice chewing can indicate is iron deficiency or anemia. Seriously, it's a symptom of that. Of course, this is if you're chewing a massive amount of ice, not just a cube or two. They're not sure why people who are iron deficient crave ice, since there's no iron in ice cubes. Maybe it's because it's crunchy or something. Ice chewing can also be a symptom of emotional problem like stress or something more serious like obsessive compulsive or developmental disorders. Again, you'd have to chew more than what's in the bottom of your water glass to be diagnosed with something like this, but that's beside the point. We don't really know why people like to chew ice. We know that they do that and have for hundreds of years, but dentists don't recommend chewing ice at all because yes, as you probably guessed, ice chewing can damage your teeth. You might not see the damage, but it's there, and it's cumulative over time. Though teeth seem hard, tooth enamel is actually really brittle, and it's about as easy to break as glass. The reason they don't break is because your teeth are made of microstructures of enamel and dentin. The microstructures keep microscopic cracks from spreading, but that doesn't mean that they aren't cracking. A study in Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences found that human teeth can withstand 1,000 newtons of force, while other primates with crunchier diets have thicker enamel and thus stronger teeth. Those primates can crunch nuts and fruit pits or grind thick plants, where we would literally crack a tooth. Add to that the temperature shifts from chewing ice, your mouth stays around the high 90s normally, but if you put ice in there and then crunch on it, the cold teeth could be even more prone to cracks. Knowing people's affinity for chewing the cold chunks, a company called Scotsman Ice Systems created an ice machine that makes easy to chew ice nuggets. It's more like compressed snow. You can find it at like your local Sonic if you're near one. Bottom line, chewing ice doesn't hurt you, but it can damage your teeth if you do it too often. It can cause fractures, chipping and cracking, not to mention increased temperature sensitivity and overall decay. Plus, dental fillings, crowns, veneers, and such don't have the natural resiliency afforded to teeth, so those will wear down and mess up even faster. Enamel doesn't grow back, so next time you're chewing on ice, think of your old person self, because they're probably gonna be pissed. Are you like me? Do you chew ice? Why? Did you ever think about it? Because, you know, it's weird. And if you don't chew it, why don't you? Comments? Leave one, that's why they're there. I love you guys, thanks for watching D News. Let me know if you have any pressing science questions over on Twitter, I'm Trace Dominguez. See you later. Oh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, check that sub button. Go ahead and click it, it's important to us, and we are so close to one million subscribers, oh my god! Please, go subscribe. And you know what, throw us a like. The like button moved over there. It's over here now. Thanks again, everybody.